I'm Nikki. And I'm Jason. And we're Dat Crunchy Couple. And this is actually our second time recording this video. <gasps> ah! So we thought it would be cool if we shared with you our Trader Joe's snack haul. So we went, th we're, we're gonna go through and we're gonna try all these snackies for you again. <laughs> and yeah, along with our lovely wine. Yep. Uh, I don't know enough about wine to educate those on the bottle, but I like the label and it says vegan friendly on the back and it was less than, less than $7. So Trader Joe's has great prices on wine. You could, you could spend a whole shopping's hours worth to in their wine, just their wine section to figure out what you're looking for. So we love Trader Joe's so much, and that's why we wanted to share our haul of snacks with you and things that we're trying that we got this time at Trader Joe's. So please, uh, um, we apologize that things have already been open because, like I said, this is our second time filming this because the first time camera just didn't want to record. But hey, that's showbiz. <laughs> So, we're going to first start off with these fully cooked falafel. I prepared these in the air fryer for about 15 minutes at 375. And I definitely should have done them at maybe like 400 for 20 minutes. Um, they would probably be a lot tastier if they were crispy. But let's give them a go. We're going to be trying them solo and trying them with this herbed tahini sauce. Could be potentially a good pairing. The falafel is weak. Is not very good by itself. It's like really lacking in flavor. Like it really could up its, it's spiciness. Bland. Yeah, it's a it's a bland falafel on its own. If you've gotten falafel from like a local Indian place or a local Mediterranean place that specializes in making falafel then you probably wouldn't enjoy this very much no i was really hoping that these would go together this dip but it kind of doesn't <laughs> yeah the dip is very lemony yeah and tahini it's yeah not, not a lot of herb going on but you know with this you know what you're getting you're not really getting some kind of like creative fusion of anything it's just a tahini sauce it would go well like if you were making a wrap or something it would it would work well with like a bucket with some lettuce and red onion and pickles so tomato the falafel i give like a 1.5 out of five stars so like five stars means oh my god this is amazing and one star means no this is a 1.5 this is okay and this sauce i'll give it two because I'm sure with the right dipper, it would be all right. But this is not. Yeah, the sauce is okay. The, the falafel is pretty weak, though. I'd give it a two. Oh, but you know what is a five out of five? This red wine. Definitely give this a five out of five. Very tasty. Goes down so easily. Makes me feel good. I'm on, like, my third little portion of wine now. So I'm feeling real good. Give or take. <laughs> All right, so falafel, first one down. Next up, we are gonna do these Hawaiian style barbecue potato chips, yum, which clearly we've already had some of, and this vegan caramelized onion dip, which, oh my gosh, so good. So, have a chip on their own. Look at that chip. They taste just like barbecue lays. They're so good. This caramelized onion dip is has pieces of caramelized onion in it. it really helps to uh, up the ante on the flavor. Crunch flavor moving. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so good. It's like a even better version of a French onion dip. Almost like a caramelized French onion dip, basically. Yeah. Yeah, this is a five out of five for me. The dip is a five out of five. The chips are a five out of five. 
The chips go well with the dip, but we have some crackers we'll be trying later that will probably work best with these. Mm. Well, speaking of those crackers, these are our bite size everything crackers. If you've tried the everything but the bagel seasoning, this is part of that. We've got like chips too that they do and nuts and other things that they smother with their seasoning. And their seasoning is amazing. It's so good. Yeah. With, because of the success of their everything but the bagel seasoning, they kind of went a little crazy and just started putting it on everything. Mm -hmm. They have some pretzel slims, everything bagel pretzel slims, and we waffled between those and the, and the crackers. So we went with the crackers this time. The crackers are pretty lame, to be honest with you. Look, I'm not excited by these crackers. Yeah, they're like they're a little lacking. In Especially with all the flavor that's like supposedly packed into them. You would want a little more everything bagel flavor, but they would go well. Like I just said, they would they pair perfectly with the caramelized onion dip, and yeah, otherwise the. Crackers themselves could, could be a little stronger. Yeah, I'm going to give them a 2 out of 5 because they're just like, eh, you know? I definitely think that the everything but the bagel chips are way better. 2.5 out of 5, yeah. Yeah, they're fine. There's not, you would eat them because they're crackers, and who doesn't eat a lot of crackers when they eat crackers? So, put it this way. They're not bad crackers. They're just not great on the everything seasoning. Just checking to make sure we're recording. <laughs> Now I'm like paranoid. Yes, it's recording. <laughs> aftertaste on those crackers is really good. Yeah, yeah, the aftertaste is pretty good. All right, next up, we are going to try some almond butter filled pretzel bites. Oh, you know, I should be, I should be specific. Almond butter filled pretzel nuggets. It helps to wash down the palate with a little bit of wine while you're tasting things. All right. These have been opened already, so we're not hiding anything about whether or not we've eaten these yet. Good thing is they're fat. Sometimes you'll get pretzel nuggets like this at the store and they're skipping on the filling. Trader Joe's does not skimp on the filling. So good. These are amazing. Yeah. I don't particularly like almond butter things, but those are quite good. I give them a 4.5 out of 5. They also have a peanut butter one. So, either, you can't go wrong with either one. But the this balance of sweet and savory is... Is well done there. Those are those are definitely a five out of five. All right. Next up, we are going to try these ABC bars. They are almond butter cocoa butter bars, soft and chewy cookie dough with creamy almond butter filling. And these are so little tiny. You can pack them in your lunch, pack them in your kids' lunch. Just pack them and off you go. You got snacks. They have a peanut butter and jelly one of these. I don't know why they call them ABC if that's the case. Maybe I'm wrong. With ABC them. almond butter cocoa. I'm saying if there's the peanut butter and jelly ones, oh. I think they call them something similar. I don't think they call them PB and J bars, but. Break this in half. Boom. Got that chocolate on the outside, almond butter filling on the inside. Strong amaretto flavor. Yeah. That's the only thing about them is like the cocoa flavor is pretty rich, but then the amaretto just takes over the whole thing. So, and they're kind of sticky. So, like they in your are. mouth. Because of the almond butter, but that's not a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, the only part where you notice the almond butter is the stickiness. Otherwise, they just kind of taste like amaretto. Mmm. And this. 
I give these a four out of five. No, these are fine. Kind of like with the um, with the crackers, like I eat these, but you know, I uh, wouldn't be blown away by them or anything. Definitely, definitely a three. <coughs> All right, next up is a very unique snack. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's do these first. Let's talk about these peanut butter bombas first. Got these because my friend told me that they were gonna be so amazing. Like she loves them, she eats them all up. So good, they're like air puffed peanut snacks, right? Sounds amazing. Like, the texture is fine. The flavor is just, like, meh for me. I don't really like Air Puff snacks, so that's where I get turned off on these. But they have this, like, kind of, like, peanut buttery, oily feel to the outside of them. And then, if you like peanuts, very plain peanut flavor, those are good. Because they, uh, they can have that, like, addiction factor to them. And he eats peanuts on their own, so he likes that. I'm more of like a peanut butter person, so not so much my thing. I would give them a two out of five. Yeah, I would compare these to the likes of the ABC bars, actually, instead of the crackers. These are more like the ABC bars in that they're like, they're, they're okay. They're not as strong of a flavor, but I'm like, yeah, I'll eat some of those. Yeah, I don't know. A three for those is good. All right, next up, we have a unique treat that Trader Joe's threw together called this synergistically tangy, salty, smoky, spicy, and lightly sweet flavored seasoned popcorn. Basically, Trader Joe's was just trying to throw all the flavors together. Salt, cayenne, garlic powder, turmeric, all the stuff, just to, you know, let's see what we can do. They kind of look like the popcorn you get at Christmas time. Yeah, the popcorn that's in those tins, that's like the caramel and the butter and the cheesy ones. They look like the cheesy ones, even though they they're not do. cheesy. Let me pick that up in a minute. <laughs> they taste like barbecue. Uh, and they remind me of the honey barbecue Frito twists. Ooh, those are good. Yeah, they're better. Um, yeah, I like the honey barbecue Frito twist, but I get sick of them really fast. And that's kind yeah. of how I feel with these. Is that they're good, but like it's popcorn, so you're gonna eat a lot of popcorn, but and you kind of just get sick of the weird honey barbecue flavor. So I give it like a two point five. Yeah. Like a cool flavor, like unique idea, like I would cool. Give, I would give it the same score. Not your best, Trader Joe's. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have these dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups. Oh, man. These are quite reminiscent of the Reese's cups, especially the minis. Because look. Look at them. <coughs> Bless you. Thank look you. at these little things. Yeah. With the wrapper and everything. Or if you ever get those store brand, like Great Value or... Just any regular generic store brand bag of mini peanut butter cups. It's kind of how it feels when you're eating them, but they don't taste like that. Mm. If you like sun butter, you will love these. Yeah. Yeah. Five. These are definitely a five out of these five for excellent. me. Yeah. Sun butter flavor is perfect. Probably is perfect. And a serving size is three pieces. You have some leeway. Mm. Five mm. out of five. So amazing. Definitely fantastic. All right. Next up is cookie butter. Now, Lotus makes their brand of the Biscoff, Speculus, whatever goodness, cookie butter. Trader Joe's has their knockoff, Speculus, crunchy cookie butter. 
Trader Joe's just makes their own brand. Okay. Yeah. It's just, they just take cookie, the their cookie butter. cookies yeah. and make cookie butter. Whereas Lotus is the one that everybody's used to seeing mm -hmm. in the store. <laughs> so good. Cookie butter is delicious. I love it. We obviously eat it by the spoonful, as you could see. It okay. never goes to waste, and it never lasts more than a week in our house. Um, I'll give it a four out of five, just because it's not like the best cookie butter in the world, but it's like, it's amazing. Yeah, it's really good cookie butter, as they recommend on the packaging to just eat it with a spoon. But yeah, I think it, I, I, love, I think it's a five out of five. It's very hard to not eat, eat all this in one sitting, basically. That's very true. Mm -hmm. Cookie butter. Good stuff. All right. Next up, we have two chocolate bars. And like we mentioned earlier, this is our second time doing this. So I'm kind of nervous to try one of these again because it wasn't, it wasn't good. So. <laughs> There's a 92% dark chocolate bar. And Nikki sucked this into the cart when I wasn't looking. And I'm not saying I would have recommended against it. <laughs> it's fine to use it for other things, but... You know. We're doing this for you, okay? If you're watching, you're the reason that I'm eating this again. Not to be consumed by itself. It almost like sucks all the liquid out of your, all the moisture out of your mouth. No, no. One out of five. If you cook it, maybe a more, but... Yeah, if you it, work with it, if you bake with it, or if you... But if you're, if it's, if it's your time of the month, and you're trying to eat a bar of chocolate to, like, feel good, you're not gonna feel good. You're gonna hate your life even more. 92% chocolate. Ugh. Excuse me. I feel like it's I have food all over my face. Do I have food all over my face? No. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Now we have our sea salt and nibs. 63% dark chocolate from Madagascar. <gasps> Ah. Both That's pretty so high quality chocolate, it seems. They're both organic, too. Mm. And I'll just give you half of this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's more edible. I'm starting to get a little bit full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is good. That's a five out of five. That's a five out of five. That's a. That's a, your time of the month, that's going to be perfect for you. You buy that bar of chocolate, you eat it for a week, you feel better about your life. I promise. Pairs very nicely with our with our wine. Uh, if your ice cream is lacking chocolate pieces, maybe crush that into the bowl. This would be a great um, replacement for Hershey's if you wanted to make s'mores. Ooh, yes. <laughs> great idea. Let's see. Thank you. All right. We have two snackies left to try. This next one was something that I chose. I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I need to try this immediately. These are apple fruit snacks, mango jalapeno. And they have little shapes. They have a little apple shape and a jalapeno shape. And they're very cute. And a mango shape. Oh, and a mango shape. Ah. Oh, there you go. Thanks. They start off a little bit sweet, and then you just have, like, spiciness in your mouth. It just gets heat. They definitely don't skimp on the jalapeno flavor. If you like, like, hot, spicy food. If you don't like sweet and spicy together, you, I wouldn't recommend these. But, and you can't taste the mango, really, either. Yeah. But they're, they're tasty. They're just spicy. I definitely give them a four out of five. The texture is a little different for me, like is what I'm used to with gummies, but. They're a firm gummy. Yeah, they're more firm versus like the ooey, chewy, gooey, but yeah. And like, I can still feel the heat in my mouth, which it's makes good. me happy because I'm always complaining that things aren't spicy enough, so. It's a, quite a crackly tingle. All right, last, but certainly not least, are the. Spring gummies. Jason loves the Scandinavian swimmers, so I figured he would love these. And if you don't know what Scandinavian swimmers are, they're the Trader Joe's versions of Swedish fish. And these are just like 
spring gummies. And Sim they similar in style, just that they decided to be seasonal. And they come in like shapes that are like birds and flowers and butterflies. And there's three colors. There's yellow, green, and pink. Getting one of each. Humblebee, butterfly, and a tulip. Yellow, green, and pink. What flavor do you want to do first? Pink. Pink. Um, I really can't tell you what flavor this is. Honestly, I don't know. It just reminds me of a slushy. Like, I'm not going to say they're slushy flavor, but... Trader Joe's, what flavor is the pink one supposed to be? Let us know in the comments below. Like... Yeah, I don't know. They just taste like a... They're like whatever. It's like a pink lemonade slushy. They're not great. They're just whatever. Next. Yellow. Mmm. I like this one. It's pineapple. My this initial is... reaction is Mountain Dew, but they are pineapple. And it's like the gummy texture that I'm more used to, too. Versus yeah. those ones. If you want to tell yourself they're Mountain Dew, that's fine. Might make you want to eat them more. Mmm. Yeah, the pineapple is definitely the best flavor. Of those compared two. to the pink, yeah. Compared to the pink. And then we got this green one. The first time I thought I tried this, I thought it was really bland. And then I was like, oh, it tastes like kiwi. But it's actually green apple. Yeah. If you suck on it a little bit, you can tell it's green apple. Yep. So, some odd pink, pineapple, and green apple. And they are color coordinated, so that makes sense in a way, but I'm really not, the only thing I can think of with the pink is pink lemonade. And I would rank them, yellow is the best, then the green, then the pink. But in all honesty, I'd probably rank those at two. Um... Yeah, like they're they're fine, but not not something that I would really snack on. Really, they're mostly gonna be his snack, I'm sure. I love gummies, so I'll eat these. But you know, they're not Scandinavian swimmers all day. They never nothing quite comes close to the Scandinavian swimmers. So I appreciate them trying to be like seasonal and do a new gummy because I I do really like their gummies, especially because they don't do like high fructose corn syrup and they don't use gelatin and. They use um, fruit juice and vegetable juice for coloring, so not that there's no preservatives. It's just that these tend to be a healthier option than your average government gummies. So yeah, I give them like a I give them like a three. They're fine. Awesome. If I had a bag of Scandinavian swimmers, I'd give them a ten out of five. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. We just tried a huge haul of Trader Joe's snackies. I hope that the next time you go to Trader Joe's, you'll think of us and the things we tried and maybe you'll try out some of these and let us know what you think of them because obviously we don't agree on every single snack. Some things I think are better, some things he thinks are better. What would you say your favorites were? If you had to choose, like what was your favorite? Um, For the savory, I mean, definitely the, the caramelized onion dip. That's like, that's really good and we don't have a lot, a whole lot of savory things here, but out of those things in particular, the caramelized onion dip really comes through. And then for sweet stuff, definitely the sunflower seed butter chips or uh, butter cups. I would say the Hawaiian barbecue potato chips, because they remind me of Lay's, the caramelized onion dips, and then the sunflower butter cups as well. So good. So amazing. You will not go wrong when you try those. So good. So good. It's hard to not get all the snacks at Trader Joe's because they just have the best snacks in general. It's so. really hard. Like, how how do you go to Trader Joe's and not just try all the snackies? Especially when we have so many new things coming out all the time. And, like, really, they've got things that can fit any budget. So you can talk yourself into buying anything there, honestly. And then you get to the checkout and you're like, oh, okay. But, obviously, so worth it. <laughs> yeah, you might have to decide on something every every week or whatever but yeah 
But yeah, you uh, definitely aren't aren't short on supply when you want snacks at Trader Joe's. And obviously, this video is not sponsored by Trader Joe's, but if Trader Joe's people ever see this video and they want to sponsor us, we won't say no. I would definitely try more of their I snacks. I love that. Absolutely. So, thank you so much. If you made it this far in this video and you watched the whole thing, thank you so much for watching us try these Trader Joe's snacks. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure to follow us on at that crunchy couple on Instagram. And that's the same name as our Facebook group as well. And Paige, keep following the blog, doing the stuff. And hopefully we'll come at you with some more crunchy TV. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye. Please tell me you recorded. Yeah, for real. It did. And it's still recording.